yeah, it's going to be a tough selection. Um, we sort of feel like we've got a, a pretty good idea, but um, yeah, just want to get through training today and um, and then we'll make our final call. But it's definitely going to be pretty tough. I guess for us, it's, it's a great thing that everyone is able to be effective in these conditions um, bowling-wise. So um, whatever mix we do go with, we're really confident that they'll be able to do the job. Which way are you sort of leaning? Like, aiming that extra pace bowling instead of a spinner? Um, oh, we're not sure, to be honest. Um, you know, we've, we found that, that pace has been really effective, but sort of bowling into the wicket um, and, and trying to hit the stumps. Um, but we've got spinners who can do that as well. So um, we feel like we've got you know, that variety and, and the, the um, attack that's going to be effective. Um, it just comes down to, to match-ups, I guess, and, and what we think is going to be the most effective against Pakistan first up. Um, it's also the other day. What month is your Yeah, yeah, she's um, got to get through training today um, and she'll be, she'll be out there running around. So um, assuming that all goes fine, um, she'll be available for selection. So um, hopefully, yeah, we've got the full 15 to, to pick our team from. Um, Rachel mentioned she felt like the conditions the other night were a bit similar to Malaysia. Yeah, I think that series over in Malaysia uh, has worked out really well for us. Um, you know, we had to adjust a little bit over there um, to get used to it, but once we once we did, I thought we played really well. And uh, the conditions over here are, are similar, um, sort of skidding on, and um, you need to sort of play nice and straight as a batter. So um, yeah, in hindsight, it sort of worked out really well that we played in very similar conditions, and we feel like um, you know we're sort of ready to go for the first game here. In terms of like, sort of last four months. Just um, physically, how do you handle these conditions with humidity and the heat? Uh, and another reason why the tour in Malaysia was excellent preparation for us. It was really hot there as well and, and humid. And um, you know, we're, we're as fit as we've ever been as a squad. And, and I think so far we've handled the conditions well. So we've had some training sessions here um, to get used to it. So I don't think that's going to play a part for us. I think we're good to go, and um, we've shown that we can handle the, the heat, I guess. And, um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be right to go. Um, David, there's no, there's no surprise in the training. You sort of I think it's a journey. I think that a lot of teams are on, and I think uh, you know we're probably at the start of that curve. And um, we're very proud of the system that we've created over the last few years, and Cricket Australia in particular have done a wonderful job. Um, but I think you see leagues popping up around the world. You know, the, the, the English league is going well, um, and our league at home is fantastic as well. So I think the next frontier is probably India, um, perhaps getting their own league, and I think that'll just grow the game immensely. Um, but we're really, uh, we can't sort of do anything about anyone else's setup. We've we've done a, a lot in a very short space of time, and. And I, I, th I suppose there's been really strong foundations for a long time in women's cricket, but um, certainly progressed a lot in the last couple of years with increased funding and, and the programs that we've got in place. So um, I, I hopefully other, other teams are you know, aspiring towards that. And the fact that you are seeing that as a team, you have your own set up, but with no major role for the cabinet at the moment, is that kind of We've always got huge expectation on ourselves as a group. Um, there's, you know, there's no hiding behind the fact we're really disappointed we don't have any World Cups to show for the last couple of years. But you know, our winning percentage is very high. I think um, tournament play is a different beast. Uh, I think our consistency over the last few years is unquestioned, and that's that shows in the world rankings. But we know as well as anyone, we've found out the hard way that you can be playing good cricket and have a, have a little bad patch, um, and it can cost you a World Cup. So. We're under no illusions that sometimes the best teams don't win World Cups, and that's happened across across the world before. But we'll do everything in our powers to make sure when the pressure's on that we make the really good decisions in the critical moments, and, and that's all we can really do. I'd like to say it was a touch of genius, but um, the way the ICC, we only have a window, and that was Pakistan's choice, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I think it was great for us and it worked out really well. Opposition, as Meg said, it was really hot there. I, I think it's almost a, a relief here, especially the time of the day that we're playing. So they're really well conditioned, the players. Um, it, was a, it was fantastic opposition. I think Pakistan put up a really good fight and you know the, the scoreline doesn't suggest that, but as a batting group, it was probably as hard of, as we've had to work for a long time. Uh, it tested all our resolve uh, in different conditions. So 
it really was a great build up and just timely that we, we come straight to here. So we've also had a good little break as well and, and, and certainly our time in Antigua was really important. But um, now we're in game mode and everyone's ready to go. So uh, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to Pakistan. Um, I, I think uh, you know, our spin attack is, is wide and varied and I think that's what we really like. Um, George is certainly a young player who has picked a lot of potential at the start but every game she's played she's looked better and better. She's a great athlete, um, she's an outstanding fielder, she's already probably one of our best fielders um, and she's quite dangerous with the bat as well so she's an all-round package and, and you know in our lineup there's a lot of bowlers competing for the middle overs so to have a point of difference with a leg spinner we find is, is very important if, you know if we're under siege and we need a wicket then we see her as a, as a real bankable commodity to, to get us a wicket so um, she might not always bowl her four overs but she's certainly a, a player that um, you know if we're under siege I think she could she could take some wickets for us. Not really, I just think it, it's going to take a different style of cricket. We've played on some great wickets back in Australia against New Zealand and the batters had some fun there because you beat, beat the boundary and you get four and I think the batters are just going to have to find a different way to score their runs. I, I still think there's a lot of runs out there if you bat smart and you hit the pockets and run hard. So, um, you know, that's not for us to, to talk about really. The our field is different, it, it plugs a little bit. Um, but we've had a game on it, we understand it, and we've talked a lot about our approach to it. So there's no excuses from our point of view, and whatever the conditions are served up, I, I think we're well equipped to deal with them. So um, we're just going to embrace the, whatever conditions we get, and um, uh, and as I think we're, we're a team that can adapt to any condition. Just looking at the demographics of the side, like age, experience, talent, you know, you've got lots of experience as well. Is this sort of the best squad that you've seen? I can, yeah, I can definitely say that I think the, the team is in a, in a greater place than I've ever seen it. I think over the last uh, 12 months it's grown a lot as a team. We've, we've tried to instil a player-led environment over the last 12 months and I believe you know, with our leadership team at the moment and the playing group that they're really pushing hard on this. Um, and, and just the, the approach that we're playing, I think we got a lot of kudos back home for just for the, you know, the, the freedom that we played with. We, we, we probably played the first couple of years as I was coach um, in a pretty conservative man manner and that was something that a couple of World Cup exits brought that you know, to the fore and we made sure that we addressed that and you know, there's a 100% buy-in from the playing group and you, and you can see that you know, in the way we train, the way we play, the way we conduct ourselves, in all the media the players do, you know, they're really committed to this and it's something that has come from them. So um, yeah, I think if we, if we happen to fall over here, we, we certainly can't say it's because of our approach. Um, we've done everything in our powers to, to play a good style of t T20 cricket and um, it's been working in the last 12 months, that's for sure. Do you also think that the players just in their prime, like Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think um, you know, it's a great opportunity and there's a lot of excited players. I think the biggest shift we've had in our T20 is um, players have been able to play roles and it's not your traditional setup where you just list your five or six best batters and they bat in order. And I think you know, the, the Elise Perrys and, and Meg and, and Rach, that, uh, you know, traditionally our more well-known players have accepted roles in the middle order. Um, so that's given the freedom to the Ash Gardeners and the Beth Mooneys and the Alyssa Healy's to go out and really take the game on. Um, so you know, we feel that we've got a team for all seasons and, and I think it's a really good mix. With the, the younger players that we've brought in have certainly added a lot to the squad, their energy, enthusiasm, and they're very good players. So they've earned their spot, but they've breathed life into you know, some, of, some of the older players, um, albeit you know, 26, 27, as you said, that should be in their prime and playing their best cricket. Absolutely, yeah. It, it gave me a, a different perspective on things um, and sort of just, yeah, being, I guess, a little bit on the outside, you, you sort of see things a little bit differently. And um, 
not. You know, I think it was a great learning for me just to be able to have that empathy, I guess, for, for other players, which um, is something I've been trying to work on. Um, and I guess that experience just sort of helped to, to allow me to be able just to understand players a little bit more. And um, I think we do that really well as a group now um, in understanding when, when some players might be struggling or maybe not finding it as easy as, as others. Um, we've sort of got that understanding now and we're real, you know, real tight group. So um, yeah, for me, no doubt it, it improved me and my leadership. Um, so yeah, it's nice to be back in, in the team and um, I'm really enjoying my cricket at the moment and, and really excited about what's to come in the next couple of weeks. Oh, I think it's just about what's required at the time. T20 cricket is changing all the time. It, it can change within one ball or, or an over. So, um, you know, you need to be able to play according to what the situation is. And, and I think as a squad, we've been able to, to do that over the last probably 12 months. We've, we've adapted to that well. Um, and, and I, yeah, so I think, you know, our team's in a really good position to be able to do that. You need to be disciplined and stick to your plan. Um, but at the end of the day, every game's different. And um, if you don't adapt to what you're doing, then you're probably going to get left behind. Yeah, I think um, yeah, you've probably hit the nail on the head. I think we had a number of options that were quite similar um, and possibly deserve to, to be in the 15, but uh, that's the selection of Taylor, uh, Tay was was about that. It was about someone who could maybe ruffle a few feathers. Um, you know, she gets our batters hopping around the net, so we know she's not nice to face. Um, and she's just a young player who rips in and bowls fast. And I think every team would love one of those. A, a few have got them, and um, when you've got one of those, uh, on some you know, potentially benign wickets, then I think that's really important, important that we have that point of difference. And you know, we're going to assess as this tournament goes on. We've got obviously four games in Guyana, so uh, we feel like we know the pitch pretty well, but we, we also went along and watched the match last night and they played on a different wicket and it played quite differently. So uh, I think it could vary game to game, and so we've got to be as adaptable as possible, and that will reflect in all of our selections.